here he is. I know I had mentioned and posted I would get it on there this week, so that's why I'm gonna get with it today. Um, so what you'll need is some fur. Obviously, you can pick whatever color you want your fur puppy. Uh, you know, they have white, brown, black, whatever you want, obviously. I'm just using what I have on hand, so I had some of that. Hence the reason why I think his ears are a little short, so we'll be making them a little longer today. Um, but today I have some white, and this is the only length I have, so we will make it a little bit bigger than him because that fur I had was less than that, so I'll tell you on that. Uh, you'll need some scissors, a marker, um, some ribbon to make his uh, bow for his hair, a wood bead, and I used some ribbon for his tongue. However, you could use felt. Like I said, you can do whatever you have on hand. Most of my craft projects, if you watch me and you know subscribe, then you'll know that most of my projects are things I have on hand or things that are easy available, a lot of Dollar Tree materials. Um, and you can you know, find me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I write for Home Talk. So I uh, do lots of crafts and very inexpensive. You'll also need some glue guns, uh, stick and the glue gun, obviously. Um, you'll need a little bit of paint if you want to make your nose uh, black or if you have wood beads, you know, in black, then you won't have to have to paint them. But let's get started. So what you're going to need, and this is what I used, is a water bottle. I drank the water this morning, as a matter of fact, and um, I was like, hey, we can use this. So you could use any kind of plastic container you want. Obviously, the size of the container will determine what your dog looks like, but this was the dog style, um, the bottle I used. And because when you cut your fur, or if you have a piece of scrap fur, what you're going to do is you're going to need two inches from the top to fold down. So we will want to cut the bottle according to you know, the fur. So what I think I'll do is I'll just take this and I think I'll just cut it right where that tag kind of is. So this will now be the size of our dog. So like I said, it's gonna be a little taller than this one. Um, probably we'll need to wipe the water out of it. It might not hurt, might, but this is a good, you know, recycled project, but let's just get the water out of there. And then what you'll wanna do is you'll want to make sure like I said, that you leave about two inches on the top. So I wanna leave a little at the bottom so he looks furry. This fur was a lot shorter than this one, which is kind of nice. Um, but we'll leave this about two inches and we'll figure out where we need to cut it. So we're gonna roll it around. That's gonna give us our body of our puppy. And then we'll wanna overlap it just a little bit. So what I will do, I will just lay it down here and then I'll give myself a little extra. What I do is I usually try to just make a little slice of my fur and then I pull it. And the reason why I do that is I wanna leave the fur nice and fluffy and you don't wanna be able to see the backing of your fur, okay? So this kind of, if you cut it, then you're going to cut through the fur and you're gonna have a very straight blunt edge and you won't have the shag. So that's you know what I recommend just pulling it. Otherwise, you gotta carefully put your scissors under it or try to spread your fur. You can see on other tutorials I've done with the gnomes. So now that we have that, just take your glue gun and put a little bit on your um, bottle. Oops, oops. And like I said, just put that like that. And then we'll obviously add some more glue. I didn't put a ton, I don't think it's necessary, but you know, we don't obviously want it to fall off neither. Let's move him. Now when you come to that edge, I'm just going to like seam it and kind of push it down in there so that both furs will cover. So it should look pretty seamless. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the fur and I'm going to push it down and kind of pull the fur so that you're not going to see it. You can't even tell where the seam is. 
You know what I mean? It should look flawless all the way around, okay? Now, obviously we left that two inches at the top. So what I did is I took, and we're going to push that down inside. So now you can see it looks nice and furry. The longer the fur you have, the more, you know, crazy is gonna look like he has a mohawk or whatnot. Now, you could glue this down or you can just leave it. It doesn't really matter. I mean, depends on, I guess, if you're gonna be touching it and playing with it, which I don't have kids and whatnot that are little, so that's not gonna bother it. So I'm gonna leave it just like that. And then I had some scraps over here. I'm going to use, maybe I came up short or, you know, something like that. Let's see, these are pretty little. Um, Oh, here's a good piece. So I have this piece and this piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two triangles. So I'm going to just cut a little, like I said, on that edge. And I'm gonna try to pull this, but that may not work too good. So I'm gonna just snip it a little bit better. Because you're trying to go across the green, so it's probably not gonna work too good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to draw a line to make a triangle, just like this, okay? Can you see that? There's a triangle. Now, what we'll need to do, and this is the reason why I'm making it a triangle is gonna be the ear. I'm going to try to snip this without snipping the fur from the front. So I'm just putting in my scissors really carefully so that this stays kind of free. Do you see that? So we're just gonna make our triangles and just carefully snip that backing without, like you can see my scissors aren't even coming through the top, just along that edge so that we're not cutting the fur because we don't want it to be blunt, okay? So see how much fur I got? I'm just keeping it like that. Okay, so that's gonna be one of his ears. And I tried to, like I said, make it a little longer this time. I think that'll be a good length. And then I'm just gonna lay the other one down on the counter and I'm going to use my marker again and just kind of push the fur out of the way. And I'm going to make sure that we got both of these ears pretty much the same size. So I'm gonna take my scissors again like I said, we're just cutting the back without cutting the fur. So my scissors are not going all the way through. You just wanna nip that backing without cutting too much of the fur. See that? So you got that nice furry edge. Obviously you probably get some pieces off, but this is the goal is to just cut the backing without cutting the fur. You want the dog to be as fuzzy as possible. So I'm just kind of taking little, little snips without trying to go all the way through. There we go. Okay, so now we have the two ears. There's a string here, so I'm gonna cut that. So we're just gonna fluff them like that. So we got the two triangles just like that. Now, I showed where you can actually take the glue and put it there and make a little bit of a twist, okay? So you're gonna take your two triangle bottoms and we're just gonna do a little piece of glue right there at the bottom edge. And we're just gonna roll it just a little bit, okay? Just like that. And that's gonna be one of our ears. I'm gonna do the same on this side just put a little on the triangle. Man, I hate when the glue gets all over the fur and it's messy. We're just going to roll that also and keep that nice and fluffy, okay? Now, we're going to take, and it's funny because I wanted to try to find the seam, so that will be our back. However, you can almost not tell on mine the seam because it's pretty much flawless. Now we're going to take and put a little glue on the inside of the ear. And just be careful because you don't want to mess all over your fur. It is messy. And then we're going to 
push that against the plastic and the fur. So we're just gonna pinch it there a little bit and that's going to give us his ear. Okay, and then we're going to do the same. Obviously you wanna make sure you put the glue on this side because his ear, we're going to glue to the side of this container and really it's not too much touching the container, it's touching the other fur. But we're pushing on it so that hopefully it, it grabs on there really nice and tight. So from the back, you can see I kind of have my fingers inside the, the fur and then we're going to let those roll down. So those are his ears, see that? Now, if you have long enough fur, you could just take this and use a little twine or a little ribbon and tie it around and make the bow. Mine, I wanted it a little bit, little bit more. So I just took another scrap piece and what I did is I, I'm just using scrap. I'm gonna put a piece, I'm gonna get another glue stick is what I'm gonna do. Here we go. And I'm going to run a piece of glue right down the center and I'm gonna pinch it, okay? Hopefully you're not gonna get it all over your fingers like me, but you may. Okay, so now you should see no backing. So it's kind of like a fur strip, if you may, all the way. Then you're gonna decide what side you like better. Do you want that up or that up? And then what I did is I took that and I'm gonna use this side. Hopefully it's strong enough because it's kind of getting narrow because it was the other part of my little uh, point. And I'm gonna put a little glue right on the front and I'm going to stick that right down in the front. And I'm gonna hold it in there and pinch it to my cup so it's nice and strong. So now you can see he pretty much has like a little mohawk piece so we got the center, our two ears that kind of flopped over. And so from the back, there's not too much of the backing showing. If it is, you can kind of do the same thing. You can take a little bit of glue and push it together so that you don't see any backing from the back if you just want a nice clean look, okay? So you can see it's tipping forward a little bit. I'm just gonna add a little bit more glue So that will stay a little bit straighter because these are my ears and I'm just going to shape them a little. You can see one's a little fuller than the other. And then I'm going to pick a ribbon. Um, I just happen to have some of this buffalo check. I actually already have a bow made. Looks like I must have made it last time. And I'm just going to use that since I already have it. And I'm going to take this little bow and I'm going to put a little dab of glue on it. Man, is there glue everywhere. Okay, and then in front of that little mohawk, I'm going to glue it and pinch it right on there. So now the piece that looks like we made a ponytail out of it, like you know, and most of the time you would take the dog and put a little ponytail on it, we just made our own. So it's more furry. And then you got your ears and we've got our bow. So our head is done for our puppy, if you will. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, some ribbon. And like I said, you could use felt or whatever, but I just happen to have this like peachy corally color I had ordered and they sent me this little bit. I thought I was getting a whole bunch. So I said, well, I can use it. So I'm gonna cut a little piece off and then I'm just going to round the front of it, okay? Just like that. So the back square, the front's round. Can you see that? My fingers are so fat. Okay, so that's the front and then that was the back where I cut it straight. And I'm going to use that as my tongue, okay? You could use pink, you know, red, whatever you think your tongue is like, but I don't know, I have a boxer. He kind of looks like it has more of a peachy corally color. So that's what I'm going with. I happen to have it, it works. So I have some wood beads and I can make the nose out of that for his nose, for his gnome. 
And I brought some different sizes, but I think I like this bigger size. But I'm gonna check real quick here. Yeah, I think that's a good size. It's a one inch um, centimeter. Oh man, this is gonna be hot. There we go. Um, it is a one inch um, ball. Uh, I think they called it a 98 centimeter or something like that for uh, in centimeters. I'm not really sure. Obviously here in the US we use uh, the uh, metric system. <laughs> All right. All right, so I'm going to take a paintbrush and this is a little bit messy, but I'm gonna just put a little black on there. And I used um, this Waverly chalk paint and honestly, it is a little messy, but it dries almost as fast as you're putting it on. So you're gonna get it on your hands, but it's not gonna be like too crazy. Especially because the dog is white. <laughs> We don't want to make a mess of paint on him, but if you just kind of use a little and just kind of dab it on there real good, you will be to get it on there without too much hassle and it won't be sopping wet. Because I don't know if it's because it's natural wood or whatnot, but it uh, absorbs really well. So you can see I'm not even getting it on my hands when I roll it, okay? Uh, that's a good thing about the chalk paint. I think it's a little thicker and whatnot. So let's set that aside a second. And so there is a bottom that I didn't do really great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little glue there and I'm going to take my pretend tongue here and I'm going to glue it like right there on the bottom of the bead. So it will look like it's kind of sticking out we can bend it down and use a little more glue if we want, but I just want to make sure it's kind of centered. You can see a little bit of black I might be missing here. I don't want it to look weird. Okay. And then you'll find right under your, um, right under your bow, you kind of find, you want to, you know, think if he really has eyes, it'd be about there. So you want to just move down a little bit, put the glue at the back of where the um, tongue starts, and you're just going to shove it in there. I'm just going to add a little bit more glue only because it is a heavier wood ball. Then I'm just kind of pulling up the fur a little and placing it, but there's our puppy gnome. Let's move that out of there. What do you think? So you can see, let me just get this camera a little bit straighter. The whole time it's been a little crooked. There we go. Um, you can see this one's a little taller, this one's a little shorter. And like I said, that determines the length of your fur as long as you leave the two inches um, to push in, then you know you can make them any size you want. Just cut the bottle according to you know what you want. So you can make a really tall dog, short dog, whatnot. So then, like I said, I think when it was my first time I did it, I I feel like these ears um, could have been a little longer, but he's short, so you know I think it works. I feel like the little bit longer, um, you know, works, and you could. Make it a little more pointy if you want to stand up. But I kind of like them pulled down a little bit. I just feel like that's how they would be. I don't know, it's just, you know, what your preference is. Super simple project, super easy, very inexpensive, but I hope uh, that give you very detailed of how to do it. It's nice and simple. Um, if you prefer a step-by-step -step tutorial, um, it should be on Home Talk this week. You can find it under my name, Shelly Nemeth, um, on Home Talk. So, everyone, I hope you have a great Wednesday, and I hope the tutorial helps you make some cute little dog fun gnomes. Everyone, have a great day.